Welcome back to Bally Spring for episode 6 of the co-op series with Mrs. Silly P and me, Mr. Silly P. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we weren't going to show this, we said we'd do it off camera. We are in the process of getting our 50 goats over. Mrs. Silly P's done, how many did you do? Three, two, three loads? Two? Two loads. Uh, yeah, two loads. Um, but I started doing this and I said to Mrs. Silly P, look, do you want to come over and have a go in the cloner, the big cloner, big M? Which you did. What do you think of it? I did. I liked it. I liked it. It was easier to use than the one that I was doing the contract with the other day. And we were in a much smaller field as well the other day, weren't we, to be fair? Yeah. Um, but also, uh, I then said, okay, with the mowing done, have a go at tedding, because you haven't done tedding before. So she's using the tedder now, and she's tedding out what we've done. But I have still done what I always do. I was just explaining to Mrs. Silly P. Because the tedder flings stuff out a little bit further, I went round with the windrower first and I brought all the grass from the edge of the field in a bit so that when you ted, if it flicks it back out, you're not losing grass outside the boundary of where you can collect from. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to get the mower out of the way. And fold that up. Oh, thank you to Barris as well. You know, this is one of those weird things that I haven't... I don't know, I, I've never really thought about it. So when you lower this down to mow, if I turn it on now, I lower it, it drops the front down and it takes a while for the back to drop down. I always wait. And Barris messaged me and said, were you aware that, there you go, if you lower the front down and then drive forward to start mowing, the back drops down and meets where the front mower started so you get an even, I didn't know that. I have no idea, I'd never thought about it. I always used to wait for it to low, lower down. So thank you, Barris. Shout out to Barris. Thank you, mate. <laughs> Always a pleasure. So, Miss P is going to be tedding. We've done the, the mowing. Um, can I get through that gap? We have got the um, baler ready to go as well. So, she's going to ted. I'm going to win row. Oh, uh, and we're going to bale it. The uh, good thing is, I was saying about we're going to have to get some mowers to sort out feeding our goats. If, like the last contract, we have a load of hay bales left over, we're going to be able to feed our goats hay. So if we've got hay left over, all good. So we're going to crack on, and we're going to see you in a bit. Um, like I said, I didn't want to put you through the you know, us doing, you know, just bailing all the time. But because it was different things that Mrs. Silly hasn't done before, it's all part of a learning curve of things to try out, new bits of equipment. We talked about um, toggling work mode because she hadn't done that before. So on the baler, uh, on the baler, on the mower the big mower she had a go at toggling the work mode so left swath right swath uh, middle or wide spreading so she had to go at that learned what a swath was as well so. yeah the, the swathing so um, what we'll do is once she's done a bit more tedding um, I'm going to go around and start doing the um, the swathing so we're ready to bail but what I'll do is actually I might swap over in a minute and once you've done a little bit of tedding don't, don't worry about the traction in the corner, just smash into that, that's fine. Where are you going? Okay. <laughs> All those lovely swaths I did, and you, you've missed a bit here, hun. You have to make sure you catch everything because you're leaving grass bits behind, so we have to go around and make sure we do all those. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll make a start going around. Um, I've set this on central. Initially, I had it on left swath um, to get it away from the edge of the, the um, uh, fence. But what I'm going to do now set it on central and I'm going to go around and we're going to start doing this because this is a bigger field and the equipment's different this is going to be so much tidier and easier to do than when we did the last one so what you've got to make sure now is as I'm going around Miss P and I'm swathing the, the hay around the outside is don't go over this with the swather turned on with the tether turned on because it will re-ted it and spread it back out again so you just have to be careful if you get to any bits that I've swathed how do I tell? You'll see them. They're in the neat rows, piles. In the light, light. And it'll be light grass. coloured around the outside. Cause I'm just doing it there on the outside first. Um, come on, get past that tree. You know you want to. There we go. Yeah. So if you get to a bit where you think you might go over it, oh, you missed something. Okay, I'll have to move that. Um, you can just if you just switch the tether off, then you won't go over it. So you know, yeah, we will see you later on. Potentially we'll have a load more bales. We can take down and we can feed the goats. We'll get the rest of the 50 in. We were going to do this off camera, but Miss Lippie said, well, why don't we, we should really show it. Said, no, she's absolutely right. Of course we should. She's always right. 
even, <laughs> even if I pretend she's not. So, Mr. Silly Pete, it's been a while since we did the last bit of recording, which is the start of this episode. Hello. Been busy. How are you? I've been I'm very on. busy, yes. Oh, yes, you have. I've had a few messages from people saying, when are you doing the next episode? We miss Mrs. Silly P. I I said, she's been ah. busy. She's been busy with work. <laughs> she's been working I hard. Have. I have been working very, very hard. But I'm back. And I have new clothes as well, which Mrs. Silly P told me I couldn't go everywhere in my beekeeping outfit, which I think is a little bit oppressive personally but oppressive you're okay. being oppressed but okay. yes here I am in my dungarees very cool and isn't it and I, I like the little rotation as well like the little fashion show very cool show, you have to show it off yeah <laughs> Um, what was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah, we're going to say, but when um, I, I, had to, I had to smile, um, Mrs. Silly P is reaching that tipping point. Um, that bit of filming we did when Mrs. Silly P said, we, we should really show this, and she was trying all the different bits of equipment out. When um, I finished doing the wind rowing, I know I was saying swathing, but the wind rowing, and she'd finished doing all the tedding, she then was doing the bailing. I was. And I, and I went to grab the auto stack um, trailer. But Mrs. Silly P had a call. She had a meeting um, she had to do. And I said to her, well, don't worry, Lee, when you're done, when you've got to go, just drop off. I'll finish off the bailing and, um, and I'll move the bales back. And she said, yeah, 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 of course, no problem at all. I said, I've, got, I've got to do my call at whatever time it was. I said, okay, fine. And she didn't drop off. She didn't drop off. And I kept saying, you're right. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to do some more bales. <laughs> and, and, and she's at that point where she, she's like, I'll just do one more. I'll, I'll just yeah. do a little bit longer. I just, and she could, she couldn't stop. I'll, I'll, I'll go to it on ten bales. Then it was fifteen. Then it was twenty. Um, I had to do twenty-five. I had to stop on a, a nicely five-rounded number. And uh, yeah, but then, I couldn't yeah. leave it alone. But what was what I was very impressed with, I have to say, was with the um, uh, the unload for the baler being and being that it was on a hilly field as well. She already was turning sideways. I think I might have mentioned it when we did when we did the first did, episode yeah. on Purbeck, yeah. But she was turning sideways, so when the bale unloaded, it unloaded across the field and not down, so it didn't roll away. For the most part, because when I went to collect, <laughs> when she dropped off to go and do her call, and I then went to go and pick up the bales, I did find a few down in the fence at the bottom of the hill. And when I spoke to her, she said, "Oh yeah, they were those were the ones where I couldn't be bothered." I was like, okay. <laughs> Well, I, my thinking, my thinking was, if they were all in one place, it would be easier for you to pick up. So they all rolled to the bottom of the hill. Always an answer. Always an answer. Always an answer. Um, but did I you was say doing it for your benefit? Oh, thanks so much. You, you did say you did wanted to show everyone something, didn't you? Oh yes, yes. Come you with remember... me, viewers. You oh, remember she says to... walking into a wall. <laughs> I was just about to say, has she remembered how to walk? Nope. No, no, don't go first. Okay, come on. <laughs> Are you going the right way? <laughs> I am. I am. Come and look at this. I have some honey. Look, 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 look. Mrs. Seely Bees. Mrs. Seely Bees. <laughs> there you They've go. You've got very, some honey in the palate. Yeah, they have been busy bees. You've got 15 liters, and that's that thing as well. When we talk about, you know, is um, that pallet when it's full will be 400 litres. Um, but that's 15 litres... Exactly. You think 15 litres. 15 litres of honey. That's a, that's a lot of honey. When that you pallet's full, you've got 400. That's a lot of money, honey. <laughs> I'll get my coat. <laughs> Oi! Right. Honey has, he's gone. <laughs> no, I have. Of course I have. Right, we've got stuff to do. We have got stuff to do. Where are we to going today, Mr. Oh, I need to, well, not to, we're on the same day, aren't we? That's what I said. We need to, um, I need to show you because you were on your, your important call with important people. Um, I brought the bales down. Now, we'd already done the silage bales and we had some silage bales left over, which I put just inside this building. I think we left them in the field originally. And when I brought the hay bales down, I thought, um, that was a very bionic man then. That made me laugh. When you came around the corner, were you called, were it's kind of in slow motion? Anyway, um, so I put the silage <laughs> bales just in here, so they're out of the yeah. way. I mean, they're wrapped, they don't need to be under cover, but I put them in there. And then the hay okay. bales, we, we had a load left over from that hay baling contract, and I've put them in this barn here, just Why in did there. You put them so far away? I'm not sure. 
<laughs> I, I, I thought I'd put them undercover out the way, um, so I've put them in here. But we've got we've got a lot of hay bales left over from that contract. Look, come have a look at this lot. They're in three. Wow. So we've three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, seventeen bales. Why are they green if they're hay? Um, because they're lighter. The the uh, grass bales are darker green. Hay bales okay. are lighter green. I mean, to be fair, hay can be anywhere. Are you <laughs> I have, yeah, sorry. Can be anywhere from that. There should be a light in here, actually. Do you, you've tabbed you. I'm oh, no. Look at, Can I not I'm... go back to where the hay bales were? No, because there's no vehicle to tab to. Oh, can you only tab two vehicles? That's why we don't tab. There you go. You've learnt something else new. We don't tab. All right. The first oh, rule right. of farm club. We don't <laughs> tab. <laughs> <laughs> Is there such a thing as farm club? Um, I don't know. Probably. Are you here, in she farm comes. Club? here she comes again. We don't talk about farm club. Shh. Okay. Shh. <laughs> so uh, yeah, and then I suddenly realised, and um, as soon as I put them in there, and right. I completed the contract, so we got the money for both of those bailing contracts we'd done. Um, we need to feed the goats, <laughs> and yeah. um, and uh, the bales are in there. Oh yeah, that was the other thing as well. Um, you know when I started doing the bailing contracts, Mrs. Silly P, and mm. you were you were collecting goats, weren't you? I was. Did we have a slight error at all in what goats we bought? We did. What we was bought, the error? We bought, some, we bought some little goats. Was that on purpose? No, You're going to say I was... yes. I, I was just, I thought you were going to say yes. Well, yes, it was, but I was just ha -ha, kidding. Oh. <laughs> Mum jokes. <laughs> Mum jokes. <laughs> I've been waiting to say that. Honestly, yeah, I did. I, 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 yeah, I'm really sorry. I can I feel the subscribers this. leaving. I can feel them just... <laughs> <laughs> hey, they've all, they've all been waiting for me. Ah, oh, dear me. Okay. Be. Anyway, yeah, so they're all, they're all <laughs> supposed to be female goats because they'd be producing milk. And um, then Mississippi took over this. doing mowing. I went to go and get a load. And I said to, to her, I said, I'm sure you said it was X amount for however many goats. She said, yeah. I said, but that doesn't make sense because I've just bought a load of goats and they're more expensive. It turned out the previous load she'd done, she'd bought um, baby goats, it's... not... She'd bought, yes, little ones. But it doesn't oh, matter, they'll, they'll grow. So what we've got to do now, we're going to pop to um, up the road to the McConnons because okay. the McConnons have got a telehand. Now, we've got an option. We've got 176 grand in the bank. So we could lease um, a skids to load or something like that. But I thought, you know what, we haven't been to visit the McConnons. They employed us. Um, we're working on their farm, sort of as tenant farmers. Yep. Um, so we're going to pop up the road, visit the McConnons. Phil and Trish, who we've known for 28 years. 28, 29 years since we first moved into our house. Watched their children grow. They've watched our children grow up. Their oh, children, yeah. when they were young, babysat and look at, looked after our kids sometimes. Yeah, and now their children have got children. <laughs> Honestly, it's that scary thing we went to, well we went to, it was when, your 50th wasn't it? And, um, Shh, don't tell me Sorry, your, your, <clears throat> your birthday. And anyway, and they came with, they um, with one of their sons and his daughter. And, and he, his daughter's and, like 11 now. <laughs> yeah, and he's standing there looking at us saying, oh, I can't believe your kids are all grown up, look at them all. I remember when I used to babysit them. We're like, hang on a minute, you're standing there with your daughter. We remember when you were a little kid. It's that kind of... Yeah. Thing. Anyway, so we've got to go, we're going to go on to the McCollins farm. Uh, we're going to see if, if they don't mind us borrowing the telehandler just so we can put some feed in for the goats. Um, what we're gonna, it's, it's that kind of neighbourly, you know, it'll be a favour for a favour kind of thing. So if we borrow the telehandler, we'll owe them a favour for something, whatever it is they're going to want us, you know, to do at some point. Um, and, uh, but also have a look around their farm because they've got cows and you haven't seen the cows yet, have you? I haven't seen cows yet, no. So uh, we'll jump in your tractor. I, th I thought, I thought my defender, offender, whatever they call it in game now, um, protector, isn't it? Um, I thought it had passenger support, but it doesn't. Your tractor's here. Where are you going? I'm looking for my tractor. It's here. It's because you went for the warrior. Look, it's, it's dark and mysterious. It's hidden in the shadows of the barn. Just here, look. Do you want to drive? No. We want to see what you drive. Well, we get the, the quicker if you drive. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the, the world wants to see your fine motor skills. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yep, that's what I'm thinking, but it's okay. We still need to do it. It's all right, because I can edit this bit out. <laughs> if we overrun like we normally do, because we're enjoying ourselves. We do. You've forgot, you've forgot to start the engine, haven't you? Yes. It's been a while. R1, R1 and square. That's right, it's R1 and square. 
Well remembered, Mr. Silly Pete. I'll edit out the bit where I tell it it's R1 and square. Ooh. Yeah, reverse is probably a better option. Hush. Oh, okay. I do have a tractor joke. Oh no. Go on. I'll save it. No, no, please. I can't wait. I was just going to say I was going to sell my tractor and buy a new one. And you're supposed to ask me what sort of tractor I'm going to buy. What sort of tractor are you going to buy? I'm going to buy one of the tractors from Rihanna's new range. They're called Savage Fences. <laughs> Fashionista joke there for you guys. Look it up. It's Rihanna's range of lingerie. <laughs> Savage Fenty. Are you honestly... I'm you're, you're talking to a group of people who spend the majority of their lives playing Farming Simulator. Yeah, but yeah, that doesn't I was mean say, they haven't got a keen eye for fashion. Fine mode skills have not improved at all. So do you think that's something they should add into the wardrobe option is lingerie? Well, Savage Fenty. <laughs> I, really, I really don't think that's a good idea. Savage Fenty lingerie. With a fence logo farmers, on it. We farmer and there's running around in negligees. Oh Am I my going the right way? Honestly, that, I just. Oh, yeah, go on, keep going. Oh, the images that conjures up are horrific. <laughs> you, you're, you're in the wrong lane again. Oh, no, you're not. No, ignore me, it's because I'm, I'm doing my other one on Frontier. When you get to the end of the road, uh, right, and then left straight away, you've, you've crossed lanes again. You've got to stop doing that. You're on the wrong side of the road. I'm going over there where that car went. Yep. Now there is, to our right, there's a pig farm over there, which we don't own, and no one owns that at the moment, that's unoccupied, but further on the road to the left is the McCollins farm, which is where we're heading now. We might said nice and gentle on all the controls, and if you find yourself going off at an angle, you can just let your finger off the accelerator and we're all good. Still be further along, there's turning on the left. We'll turn into the farm. We've got quite a big tractor. They've got a little turning bit. Fine motor skills, there we go. I did have a message from someone the other day saying they're really enjoying our Let's Play together, but I'm a really harsh teacher. Like, <laughs> am I? Okay. He's not actually. He's a lot worse when he's in the car. To be, <laughs> to be fair, the turning's here, but you're gonna need to, you've got quite a big tractor here, so I'm not sure you're going to get around there. That's why they've got that little bump out that side. There you go, so it just gives you a bit of extra room to turn. Perfect, straighten up. Awesome job. Into the yard. Fine can... motor skills, fine motor skills. <laughs> All right, mouth. You can, <laughs> mouth. Pull up, you can pull up wherever you want and we'll, we'll get out. So this is the McConnons farm. Are you stopping? Or I don't know whether to get out or not. No, you got to get out until I turn the engine off. <laughs> okay, okay, right. Um, we out. So, yeah. this is the McCollins, um, and they've got cows. I don't think they've got any calves, but they've got cows out in the field, and when they get calves, I think we're going to be buying some calves for our field. Our field, our farm. Oh, they're cool. Jersey cows. Oh, we don't actually have jerseys in-game. We got, we got No, we've got Holsteins, Angus, uh, Swiss, and uh, Limousine. And the Angus and Limousine are normally beef cattle. They all still they do produce milk, but... Um, but what is fantastic about on here as well on Bally Spring is that you can have calves and you can have. I'm sure there's. I'm sure that's. A they're, they're very friendly. Hello, Mr. Goo. There's definitely a bull in here somewhere, but I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure where the china shop is. So you know. <laughs> hey, I do the jokes. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot. Yeah, this is this is your <laughs> this is your joke. Let's play, isn't it? Anyway. <laughs> It's a joke the way I, was, I, I was just going to say it's a joke when you're an attractor, but you beat me to it. Okay. So anyway, they're fun. They've got they've got some gear. They've got some equipment. They've got uh, they've got a trailer. They've got a couple of bales in the back there. Uh, feed mixer. Oh, we've got some cows feeding. Look, come on here, hunt at the feed trough. Look, chowing down. Very happy cows. Look round here. You won't see them over there. Where are you going? I'm over here. I have no idea. Here, here. Come here. Come here. Look. It's like when we stop at um, Main Skill, well, look. It's just along here to the left. Look at all the cows oh, eating out of the trough. Oh, look at them. Hello, cows. Yeah, when we stop at Main Skill Farm on the way up to um, the Lake District, um, if, the, if the 
cow barn, sometimes the cow barn, depending on the time of year, is full of equipment, but sometimes when the cows are in there and you can go up and they've got, um, when the sheep are lambing, they normally have the lambing season, you yeah. can go in when the sheep are lambing. They've got... The cows are very friendly, aren't they, at yeah. They've got llamas, they've got three camels, they've got... Um, donkeys. Donkeys, they've got a, a ton of stuff up there. Um, and they've got three they farm also have areas. A new, sorry, I'd just say this. They were well, in the back. They also have a new uh, area which is full of tortoises. Really? I've never seen so many tortoises. Yeah, when I stopped the other day, when we stopped on the way up from Brufamu, um, I took Darwin, farm dog, for a walk, and they've got a brand new tortoise shelter. You know what? It's one of those weird things. Back in the UK, I mean, years ago when we were kids, it was a big thing. People would get a pet, they'd get a tortoise. I love a tortoise. And tortoise, tortoises live for years and years and years and years and years. Hundreds of years. And, um, and oh, funny, it's an interesting story, whether you think it's an interesting story or not. But you can't, I don't think you can buy them anymore. Like, pet shops don't sell tortoises anymore. But it was a very yeah. easy pet to keep, and they would hibernate, and you could feed them whatever. My dad used to take my brother and I for adventures. He always used to refer to it as adventures. Um, when he wasn't doing shift work, if my mum used, my mum used to play netball for a netball club. If she was playing netball or she was doing stuff or she was out and about, my dad would take us for adventures and we'd go out to the woods and he'd teach us to map read and we'd build camps and we'd go for long walks and all this cool stuff. Well, we were walking out over the land, the farmer's fields, which is now uh, Warner Brothers, Leaveston Studios. Is, um, yeah. yeah, and that was all farmer's fields then, when, back in the day when we were lads. And um, so we're going across this farmer's field. My dad had this thing for, he never really observed boundaries of people's property. <laughs> it was just, <laughs> it was very much, my brother and I were terrified because like, we're on a farmer's field. We don't own this land. We shouldn't be here. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. My dad would say, if we're not supposed to be, if the farmer comes, I'll, we can have a chat and the, the, all, they, all they'll do is ask us to leave. And we were always that, they'll have shotguns. They'll have, you know, they'll, they'll <laughs> you know, but, you know, but anyway, so we're going across this farmer's field and we found a tortoise in the middle of the farmer's field. And when my dad picked it up on the bottom, it had an address painted <laughs> Oh, I'm not joking. It had an address painted on the bottom of the tortoise shell. So this tortoise was obviously an escape artist and it was used to getting out because they'd actually put their address on the bottom of it. So we took it back to the people who it belonged to. And it was, oh, I mean, cool. this, this was miles away from anywhere. I don't know how long it had been escaped for, but um, yeah, there you go. Tortoise story for you. Um, Excellent. But that's not why we're here. We're here because we need to borrow this uh, piece of equipment. Ah. Oh, yeah, there's some, there's some forks here. I was saying, there's a big bucket here, but here to the side, we've got some bale spikes. So, this is where you can learn about telehandlers and telehandling. Because you're going to, because you're going to, or, tele, or teleloaders, depending on where you're from in the world, telehandlers, teleloaders. Um, so this has got an, exten an extendable boom. It has also got, you know, when we did the stuff with the um, mower and you could toggle work mode, this has yep. toggle steering. So you can either have it all wheel steer, front wheel steer, uh, and you have left and right steer on some vehicles as well. So you can have a bit of a play with the steering options on this, but you're going to drive it and you're also going to take the bale spikes and you're going to grab a bale or a couple of bales and you're going to feed the goats because Ooh, it's all, pa all part of your learning curve with weather. Um, I'm just going to pop um, into the because You've got your options open, haven't you, on your top left of your screen? Yeah. So what I would suggest you do, while well, I'm going to go and speak to Phil to find out, or Trish, whoever's available, to find out if we're okay to borrow it, um, to move some bales. Uh, if you have a bit of a fiddle around with the options for steering and you, if you're inside, I'd you're better off being outside cab so you can see and have I a look at the steering okay so have a look at your steering options so that's all wheel steer and then if you press the, the if you look top left whichever option is l1 and r3 or r1 and l3 I come which one it is that toggles your steering options and then then turn the wheel and see what wheels turn so that'll give you your options for your steering i'm just gonna go and pop and speak to them and find out if we can borrow it if i can find them We're all good. Phil was out and about, but Trish said, not a problem at all to borrow it. And she said, they're, they're great people. She said, don't worry about it. It's not a problem. And I said to her, look, we'll owe you a favour. It's all right. Don't worry. You know. So I said, no, honestly, it's, it's what we should do as far. Oh, you've already got the forks. You want to tip those forks back because at the moment your wheels are off the, off the ground, your front wheels off the ground. That would explain why I'm not turning. So this is the other thing. So you've had a bit of a fiddle around with the steering. What do you think of the steering options? They're a bit bizarre. The, cr the crab, right. So, what, so what you've got to do now is L1, and then yep. you've got right sticks, 
I'm trying to think what the options are. Isn't it weird when you're not in the vehicle? Um, but you've got your options now, so you've got your steering options, but you've now got your boom options. So you've got your options for adjusting. There you go. Tilt it the other way. Now your wheels on the floor. Then you can raise the boom up. So you go up and down. Then you've also got in and out. So you can extend the boom because it's a telescopic boom. It's a telehandler. So that would be easy. R1 and then right stick. Shall I jump in? Yes, please do. I'm just trying to think. Tilt, tilt, R1. No, it's, not, yeah, it's R1. You said there's nothing under R1. R1, and then you've got up and down on the boom. So up and How down. How are you making me go up and down? That's what I'm saying. On the right stick, it's up and down. So R1, oh, and right, right, stick. right stick up and down. Oh, okay. And then, and then right and then, stick left and right. Uh, and then L1. Side uh, to side does okay. that, and up and down does that. So that's your boom. Okay. Now, there's various different views on this, and different opinions. Now, we have seen, when we've been out and about in the lakes and around the countryside, you'll see farmers driving with their forks like that. Because when you've got spikes, you don't want to spike anyone. No. So they'll drive like that. Some farmers will bring them right in, and they'll have them tilted back as far as they can. Some farms, they'll have a plate that goes across these spikes. Some farms mm -hmm. put big like chunks of cork on, all different things. Now, I've seen them in all various different configurations. I was told categorically by somebody, you never ever drive with the forks pointing towards the ground, because if the hydraulics fail, the forks dig in the ground and the thing flips over. But you can get a, a support, uh, whatever it's called, um, for the hydraulics, and it's a plate that goes in, so when you are driving on the road, you put a plate in, and if the if the hydraulics fail, that boom can't drop to the ground. So it won't that won't ever happen. Um, but anyway, because um, whenever I do it, people say you can't do that. You shouldn't ever drive like that. But I've seen we've seen farmers drive like that. So what you need to do, did you you said it on front wheel steer, didn't you? It did, yeah. Yeah. So that, again, as far as I'm aware, and I'll get in trouble for this. Um, on UK roads, I know we're in Ireland, but United Kingdom, Southern Ireland, but, um, you're only allowed to drive on the roads with a telehandler with front wheel steer only, because all wheel steer, it turns too quickly. So you need to head back over to the farm. I'm just realised we're going to run out of time here, aren't we? And we're not even going to get the bales you're moved. You're going to bring my tractor back. Uh, yeah, I can bring the tractor back. And then what we'll do, we'll feed the goats, and then we'll skip, because we need to move into the next month. We need to get into September at least. Um, oh, that was the other thing I was going to say. When I was talking to Trish, she said they've got some uh, mowers for sale. Yeah, look. And to be fair, we could do with a set of mowers. We could. Nice and cheap. So uh, we might buy them. That would be a really good idea. It's an option. Uh, mind your forks on the fence. I'm going to look the other way while you head off. <laughs> so yeah, so what you need to do, we need to go back to the farm. And then you can have a go at lifting some bales with bale spikes. Um, and feeding the girts. Look at you, look at you go. You're on the wrong side of the road again. Where do you... How, when we go in the van places, you, you do... You see the side of the road I drive on it? Uh, yeah. So, not too far, just up here on the left would be good. I'll tell you what, that was a much smoother drive back. Maybe you should just do telehandler driving. You're very good with the telehandler. Keep going. Just on the left, just up there. There. Yep. No. Yep, 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 that's us. Oh, it's got a big turning circle. <laughs> it, it, well, it's got a big turning circle because it's on front wheel steer. If you switch it to all wheel steer, it's a much tighter turning circle because it all goes. When we get into the yard, you can put it onto um, you can put it onto all wheel steer. You could probably do it now if you wanted to. No, it's alright. You're going to need it in the yard, so you probably want to turn it on now. Switch it over to all wheel steer. Let me just get into the yard first. Dirty, dirty. So yeah, this is um, this is being a good neighbour. I think that's the thing, isn't it? It is. And it's it's a sort of thing. It happens a lot all over the place. And I know in um, what's it on what French map was it? I know there's there's a lot of places around the world where it happens where you get farming communities because farming equipment is expensive, and it's things like harvesters and stuff that you know you use a harvester for harvest season, then that harvester gets packed away and doesn't get used the entire rest of the year. And depending on how much land you've got. Um, you might just use it for a, a month and then that's it. So what a lot of farm communities will do, they'll all, all club together. You might have ten farms. Yeah, and they will buy a harvester between all of them 
and then they will all help each other out during harvest season. I, li I like that as an, you know, it's a brilliant, it's a pity the rest of society can't be more like that, you know, we've, we've become a very insular society and very, people don't really want to help each people other out. They take and, their own, don't they? Yeah, you know, we've always said as well, when you get on the underground to go into London, which you do a lot more than I do, you know, I people do, just, yeah. people won't look at each other, they don't communicate, they don't speak. And if you look at someone and smile, people are like panicked. It's like, what do they want? It's like, they don't want anything, just smiling. Or like when we're out and about in the Lake District, and up in the Lake District, when you pass people, everyone says hello. Yeah. People you've never met, you go past farmers, you say hello, you might have a chat. I'll do. Yeah, the further south you come, people just don't want to know, do they? They don't want to talk to each other. So, right, you've got bale spikes on. What you want to try and do is try and, when you get to the bales, keep those bale spikes as level as you possibly can. Because at an How angle, it won't. I see them? Um, well, if you're out, if you're out of cab, mm -hmm. you said you're driving from out of cab. Just turn your camera slightly so you can see. Them. Now, I've always said this: a lot of farmers, like a uh, virtual farmer, VF, you know VF. Um, I know VF. VF will do series where he does a realism series where he only drives in cab. He will drive how you would do in real life. There's no depth perception. I in game, I can't work it out without like VR or something. I just can't do it. You might want to put the headlights on on the vehicle, which would help. Uh, is it R1 in a circle? There you go. So you can see the bells a bit better. Um, so the two at the front, you should be able to get both of those those bell spikes. So you want to try and get those bell spikes level. It's not so bad picking bell spikes uh, bells up. It's when you need to take them off, but they should take automatically. So if you just um, yeah, just give it a bit of a shifty, try and adjust those bell spikes to the level, or ignore me completely and keep messing around. Sometimes you. I can't. Hang on, I can't see. I can see the bell spikes because I've got up, but now I can't see them because I've gone in the building and all I can see oh, is the Oh, it's changed. So what you want to do is come out of the building, come out of the building, just back up straight, um, adjust your bell spikes level and then drive in. Because it, it's the, there used to be a thing called um, uh, camera collisions. It's called a camera collision, basically. So, no, you extend the boom. You don't need to extend the boom. Bring the boom back in. You just need to do the L1 and right stick side to side. There you go. So you want to bring them up to the level, so completely horizontal. Up, the other way, the other way, the other way, the other way. Slowly, slowly, remember what I said, fine motor skills, just a little bit, just a little tappity tap, just tap it in. Is it rising up and down? There you go. So you want to get them to those levels. So the other way, other way, just very gently, very gently till you get them level, just very gently, that will do there. Perfect. No, you went a little bit too far, but that's all right. Um, that'll probably be okay. Um, what was I talking about? I don't know, dear. <laughs> oh, uh, camera collisions. Yeah, there's a thing called ca they got camera collisions. And on previous versions of the game, you could disable camera collision. So when you were doing things like that, um, the camera wouldn't flip out. But now, anything that has a collision, so buildings and things like that, the camera will try and go around it and it will try and find a better angle and it's awful but with FS22 they because of the way the game is designed and coded it's like you can lift them ever so slightly now so you need to do, lift the boom just a little bit not too much a tiny bit because in case you catch the bale above now you've come back out you need to lift the boom because you've got you need to keep the bales on there drive forward until you've got the spikes right in right now that's it drive forward right now lift it ever so slightly so that's side to side. L1 and right stick up and down. Very gently. Right, no, 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 the other way, the other way, the other way, the other way, the other way. Gently, 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 gently. That's it. So you're off the ground. Oh, right. Right. Now you can tilt those back if you want to because those barrels could slide. So L1 and right stick side to side. You want to go to your left. There you go. Now reverse. It's ever slowly because you want to catch the barrel. There you go. Be careful of the wall. Brilliant stuff. Right, now you come out, come through the gap here that we made, and we can feed the goats. Who'd have thought it was going to take us an hour to feed the goats? Sorry, guys. No, no, it's not. But again, you're learning. You're learning a whole new set of controls for a whole new vehicle that you've never used before. So again, people will be watching going, oh, it's just a telehandler. Again, the first time you came onto the game and used a telehandler, you've got to get to grips with the fact that you've got all your different steering options, you've got the different boom options, you've got raise, lower, tilt, extend the boom backwards and forwards throw all that together with learning to drive uh, and this lack of fine motor skills <laughs> this is the feed trough here so if you drive forward and forward and forward it should 
Right, stop there. Now lower your boom down. So L1 and right stick up or down. So you want to go the other way. Slowly, that's it. Now reverse up. And it should take those. Yay! Boom. Right, so now empty. we've got 9,095 litres of food in here for the girts. The girts. There you go, look. Oh, I thought, gonna, I thought I was going to eat then. There you go, you got one eating. Um, so we've got some feed in for the goats, which is brilliant. Um, what I'm going to do is just double check if we go down to our animals. I mean, that's barely scratched the surface of what they can take. So we could probably put a load more bales in there um, just to get that feed right up. So what will happen now is they've got hay, which is all they need. Um, because they're goats, they're going to produce milk, not wool. That's what the sheep would do. We can get sheep at some point, which we said we'll probably do. But for yeah. the time being, they will start producing milk. Because what we, what we don't want to do is go ahead into September or, or skip ahead to whatever month we're going to go to. And they're not producing. You want them producing. So to give them feed now, if we skip ahead, then we know at least they're going to be producing. So that's the first step. Uh, you should probably do, yeah. We'll stick some more in. Uh, the next lot will be... Um, you can do three because it's um well, i could barely do two <laughs> no well the third the third one's on top um so you should be able to just put the bale spikes into the bottom two and it will take the third one by default now as far as bale spikes go there are so many different options for bale spikes bale grabs um there's um there's the csz pack which is a fantastic pack by dd mod passion that has um auto load bale spikes in it as well which takes three bales at a time so you literally drive up and it will automatically pop the bales onto the front so you don't have to do any of this but i think it's better to learn to do it properly first before you start doing that if you get to a point where you're like you know what i've tried to learn i can't do it i don't like it then try other options right nice and slow right okay just stop more because you keep pushing the bales things forward right so ever so slowly l1 and right stick is it down so right that stop there stop stop, stop. Now tilt a little bit backwards. L1 and right stick to the left or right. There, that's it. Now reverse back. Nice and gentle. Spot on. Absolutely spot on. Getting the hang of this now. Just says dropping them off. Oh, it's wobbly, that top one. That's yeah, all right, it'll be fine. I'm motor skills. I'm motor skills. All right. Is that going to be the phrase of the day, is it? <laughs> <sighs> Train up. That's it. You see what I mean, though, about the all-wheel steer? If you're driving along a main road with all-wheel steer on and you turn too sharply, the whole thing will turn on a sixpence and it's, it can be really dangerous. So you, can, you can totally understand why the rules are the way they are. Okay, so what you need to do now is lower the, the boom. So L1 and right stick down. No, the other way, other way, other way, till they touch the ground. Now, right, your wheels are way off the floor now, so you've gone, you've lowered the boom way too far. That's it to there, about there. Now try and reverse back. Yay! That one, boom, and boom. So awesome. now we've got, uh, how much have we got in there now? We're back on. 22,697 litres. So that should do for the time being. That should keep them going. We'll see when we go into the next month. So as we go into um, September, uh, how much they've taken, how much they've used. If they haven't used very much, we're good for the time being. And we've got a few more bales left in it, so we've got plenty. So what we need to do now is we'll take these back. We'll take the, the um, telehandler back. Because we can, we can always borrow it. The McConnells have said, not a problem. We'll just owe them a favour, which is great. So what we'll do is we'll see you now in um, probably September. Um, and what we're going to do is... Well, we'll see if the McConnells wants to do anything for them. But we need to go round the farm. Um, because we went round the farmyard here, but we haven't kind of had a look at our land. And I'm pretty no. sure we've got some fields that I didn't realise we owned. Well, I've just noticed here. Self-made cow shed. Food. Milk. There's 10,000 litres of milk in here. You haven't got any cows. How old are milk? Straw and 250,000 litres of slurry. How? Um, I have no idea, but that's pretty good, though, because when we do get calves, 
How is there milk in here already? I'm not knocking it, the but... The goats, is it? Don't know. So if you want to take the telly on the back, so what we'll do, we'll see you guys in September. And yeah, we'll... we'll, we'll oh yeah, we need to have a chat about those but mowers, whether we're going to buy those mowers or not. Okay. Um, and then we'll... If we are... Yeah, well, we can do that. We can sort something out. Right, I will take this back then. Okay, I'll let you carry on. And uh, we'll see you in September. Not you. It's not going to take you until September to take that back, but... <laughs> it might oh, do. Oh, yeah, it might do. I just saw it just did that. <laughs> Don't! You're putting too much pressure on me. <laughs> see you in September, hon. Bye. <laughs> We're into September, people. We've been discussing the mower situation. I think we are going to buy the mowers, aren't we, from the McConnons? I think so, yeah. You've got a bit more honey as well? I have. I have. I've got two pallets of honey now. Well, two... two boxes on a pallet. All right then, two yeah. boxes on a pallet. So you've gone from 15 litres up to 150 something? I have. I have. But in other news, our girts, um, our field here that was that was saying it was grass and it was growing, we have got grass, which is nice. It's started to grow. So our grass field is doing its thing, which it wasn't. I'm not quite sure why it wasn't originally, but we got grass. And our goats... I haven't used a huge amount of that food, which is brilliant, but we've got 485 litres of goat milk. Woohoo! Wow, you sound very enthusiastic about that. <laughs> I was, that was me being enthusiastic. Sorry, I was watching the goat eating. It's cool, quite it? cute. And that's the thing, like, like I keep saying, that just that sound. Oh, there's another one, look. Oh, you scared it away. The, you know, that sound of goats bleating. We've never had that before. It's, it's brilliant. Right, we're going to hop the fence because what we haven't done, mind yourself on the barbed wire. <laughs> oh, you made that look easy. We're going to head up the lane because something I hadn't noticed and in taking on the farm, uh, we've got a couple of fields up here which are ready to harvest, um, which I didn't know we even owned, but apparently we do. So we've got a field here, 65, has got wheat in it, Ooh, so you, you, can walk, you can walk through the wheat fields brushing your hands against the top of the, if you want to. Um, Ooh, that's very gladiator, isn't it? The end of gladiator. Oh, yeah, of course it is. Anyway, but yeah, we don't have a harvester, so we're going to have to sort out that. But then also, if, if we go up the lane, I think we can cross over this little hold bridge. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look what? at me, I'm Farmus, Farminus Maximus. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> But we've also got this field here, field 64, which is an entire grass field. So I'm thinking if we get the mowers from the McConnons and we get ourselves um, a forage wagon, we can do um, silage in the silage clamp. We've done silage bales, but you won't have done we silage have, clamp we work. So silage. we can we can do exactly what they did at Graysondale when they were doing the, the silage harvesting. We can cut the grass, bring it up, put it into the clamp, compact it. So we can do all okay. of that, which you you won't have done. So we can do some of that. So we've got this whole field here. Now, if we carry on up the lane... Um, we need to get a mower. Yeah, we'll... Um, a mower, mass and mark. Oh, my... Honestly, we're on... The, it, it's it's the, all these years of marriage. I was just about to say, and my brain was thinking, what's the phrase, what's the phrase? And I couldn't remember. A mower, and then, mass and mark. A mass yeah. and mark... Something or other. <laughs> Sorry, that was Eddie Izzard. All I kept thinking is mow, right, all I kept thinking is mow the grass, which is something completely different. <laughs> right, so this one here, this is kind of an electric fence. Where are you? Oh, it's just coming. Hi. Over the bridge. Um, but this here, it's like a little electric fence. This is a pasture for cows. So you can have your cows in your barn, and your cows can be inside during the during the the uh, winter months when the weather's not so great. And you can bring them out to the pasture here and put them in the pasture to roam free and wild during the summer months, eat the grass and all very lovely. And that's something else people have talked about um, for new versions of the game. If you're putting cows out into a pasture of grass, they don't actually eat the grass. You've still got to feed them, which is that weird thing of, well, if they're in a pasture to eat the grass, why are we feeding them grass? So that's something people want to see, which I think would be quite cool. Um, so okay. this, is our, this is our pasture, but the next Thank field you. over, field 63... It's got sugar beet in it, which I think is a, a month, I want to say a month off of being ready to harvest. 
so we're going to have to do sugar beet harvesting, uh, which we don't have any equipment for either. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to lease. Well prepared, really, are we? <laughs> I, well, yeah, I mean, we, we were asked by the McConnells to come and, and tenant farm the land, which we did. And I think we were so focused on the farm in the first episode, and we took on a couple of contracts. I'm trying to teach you a few bits and bobs, and um, we didn't really look at what, what land we owned, what we had. So, there, this field here. Have you got your field info open, which is bottom right? Yeah. You got that? Right. So that should be saying sugar beet growing, 23% yield bonus, fertilizer. Yeah. There's, no, there's no fertilizer on it. I didn't needs even look at the wheat lime. field. Um, needs lime. Lime, oh, it's lots of It needs plowing, but you don't lime on the top of a crop. You do that when it's harvested. Yeah. So the yield's not going to be as good as it could be, but it'll be all right. And it's a field that I didn't even know we had. So, um, so yeah, there's, that's two fields we've got, or loads of fields. We could come and mow this field as well, because we haven't got any animals in it. And the grass will regrow. You'll get a, probably two, maybe three cuts out of a year. Um, so we could mow this as well. So we've got plenty of grass we can cut to do uh, work in the silage clamp. And then 60,000 um, litres. Yeah, 60,000 litres of food in here as well. I'm assuming that's what it started off with um, when you first come into here. Because I think, yeah, I would, won't go into the details because I don't want to spoil the illusion people know but when you come into the game and you first set up the, especially on this map this field already has animals in it because obviously the way we were going to do it we weren't going to start with calves this had calves in it so i think it started off with calves with feed so in removing the calves that was fine but then the feed stayed so if we do put animals in here we won't have to worry about feed for the time being anyway. okay we'll close actually i don't need to close that up because there's no animals in there so what we need to do now back to the farm grab the tractor whiz out to the mcconnons we're going to buy their mowers off them um it's going to cost us and we're, we're, we're paying um a little bit under market value because they're they're um i say a little bit worn they're a bit used uh they're normally it comes in at seven thousand four hundred i think we're going to pay six grand which isn't okay. a bad price it's less than market value but not full price so we're going to pay them six grand so we'll go and pick the mows up i'll move the money into their bank account and um we're good. I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, we didn't get as much done as I thought we would. Um, but again, I, I keep saying, uh, well, I did have a couple of messages, a couple of comments there, people saying, you're not doing much in each episode. But again, when you say we're, we're not doing much, there's not much progress necessarily being made on the farm, but Mrs. Silly P is making progress because she's, she's learning something new every episode. In some episodes, oh, you need your tractor because we've got to go and pick up the mowers. Where's the tractor? Uh, is it back in the barn? Yeah, back in the barn. No, you parked it back, didn't you? Yeah, so we've got the little Ford here, um, but it hasn't got front three-point links, so I can go and get the rear mower, but I can't get the front. That's frustrating. I wonder if I can change that, whether that can, has got an option for a front three-point. I don't think it has, because I'd love to use that. Anyway, we'll have to take yours. Um, um, was it Hawkeye Farms? We haven't talked about it. We haven't really sort of decided what we're going to no. do about that, were we? We were going to get some tractors from there, weren't we? Potentially do that. So yeah, if you grab your tractor, was out um, there in okay. the barn where it was before. Oh, and, you drive because uh, we'll get there quicker. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Let me hop in. We'll pick up the mowers. We'll pay them for them. Uh, so the next episode, then uh, we might get some sheep in the next episode as well because we've got the goats in there. And if they've got feed and we've got some hay bales, there are there are so many baling contracts available. Um, and it's that, that I say stereotypical, well, it's not stereotypical because it's real, we were just talking about that, there's a brilliant channel called The Grassmen, um, and there are big areas across all of Ireland where it's a lot of grassland, a lot of sheep and a lot of cows, so a lot of the field work isn't necessarily arable, there's a lot of it that is grass work. It is silage bales, hay bales, grass bales, um, silage clamps, you know, so a lot of the, the contracts that are available on this map um, if I just show you, if we just whiz into the menu and we go to, where are we, contracts, look at all that lot, that's all bailing contracts, all of that, so we could take on an absolute ton of them, I mean if we got to a point where we owned all of our own bailing gear, we've got a baler, if we buy the mowers, we would need a windrower, a wrapper and a tedder, we could take on any of those contracts without losing any money for borrowing equipment, we could do it all ourselves, so potentially that's a way we could look at doing we could be the grass people grass family the grass seals that's a bit weird 
not the grass one, would it? <laughs> Those sunflowers look cool. To the right. I don't know if people are aware of this as well. There's sunflowers in game. Oh, they probably are. As the sun moves across the sky, the sunflower heads follow the sun as they do in real life, which is pretty Aww, cool. That's yeah. pretty cool. You've done a lot of concentrating again in this episode, Miss Silipi. You've been quite quiet. I mean, there's been a few years. You started off with a couple of crackers, didn't you? But <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, it's it's difficult when you're driving and learning new things. You have to concentrate on doing it, otherwise the person who's teaching you points out all your faults. Oh, OK. <laughs> Sorry, you're being oppressed, aren't you? I forgot you're being I oppressed. Am. You've oppressed me at the start, and now I have to wear other clothes. Right. I thought now I have to wear clothes. Yes, you do. Of course no, you do. No, other clothes. Other you, clothes. Otherwise, you'd just be wandering around in Rihanna's lingerie on the farm all the time. I would. Just be... My savage fenties. <laughs> It's just too weird, too weird. I know, but it's funny though. I thought it was funny anyway. In your head at least. Right, so In what I'm going to do head. now is I'm going to drop out of here, just pop to the payment screen. So again, we're on multiplayer. I'm doing the same thing on Frontier at the moment because we've got the McConnons farm and their bank. We've got our farm and our bank and then there's the Bank of Ireland. So if I go to the McConnons and transfer money, I need to take that off and then that off so we're going to transfer them six grand okay out of our bank account so ours has gone down to 170 from 176 but these mowers are ours awesome so we've, and we've, we've got paid for them lot of places to mow, we've got a lot of grass we can mow i mean to be fair we could go out and start mowing now i'm not sure what time i suppose we could get a little bit of mowing done just to start off as well oh that was the other thing i was going to say um when i said to um phil that we were coming over to pick up the mowers and we're going to pay for them they have got a favour. Oh, what do they want us to do? They have got a contract they have taken on, and Phil took on the contract, but he's got to go away and do some work somewhere else. He does a bit of contracting work for other people as well as the main farm. They've got a plough, I know, <laughs> ploughing's not your favourite, is it? Um, they've got a ploughing contract available, and they said, could we do the ploughing contract for them um, as a thank you for borrowing the telehandler? Yeah, so of course. I, so I said, not a problem. It will mean us swapping over to the McConnons farm to do it, to give us access or whatever, but we can do that. Um, so we'll jump onto their payroll. Uh, whether we do that, we might do that, might be the start of the next episode, we might be us doing that, or at least finishing that yeah. off, probably. Um, that's a good idea. Um, but we'll do that for them, that's just that's just a thank you and a payment for uh, for borrowing the, the um, telehandler. But like I say, they've said we can borrow it whenever we want to, until we get to a point we, we've... Yeah, we, we can, can afford to buy our We own. can afford our own do whatever we're going to do. Um, I'm not sure how far off their cows are from having calves, but like I say, once they carve, we're going to come and get some calves. But yeah, next episode, I think, whoa, no. Narrow lanes and all that. Gosh, all that I've Shannon. done all right, because I haven't, <laughs> haven't met anything coming the other way yet. Shannon Egan's... Oh, come on, I've hit the wall. No. There we go. Yeah, and they stopped to laugh at you. Probably. <laughs> whereas, whereas if it was me, I'd stop and go, oh, look at the tractor. The amount of times I've done that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it takes us forever to get anywhere. <laughs> Car screeches to a halt. I get out. Take pictures. To jump back in. I'm going to go and grab the tractor. I'm going to grab my camera because they're doing this. They're doing that. I'm going to film it. Farmers don't mind. They tend to kind of like it. We stopped a while back, didn't we? And they were we doing... They were doing harvesting. silage. Yeah, they were doing forage harvesting in a field. And we were on our way towards Cockermouth, weren't we? Yeah. Um, so I pulled over just along along the road. I went into the, the sort of the gateway, and there were tractors backwards and forwards, and the forage harvester was running. And um, every single tractor that came out, they were putting their thumbs up, they were waving because uh, it's that thing of people don't either aren't bothered or don't really care. It's that um, Tom Pemberton was wearing a, a t-shirt. I think I was part of the his their merch line, and it said, um, "Thank a farmer three times a day." For your meals, which I thought oh, that's that's cool. Like, it's it's like clever, that. isn't it? It's that thing of because we just all take it. Everyone takes it for granted, you know. Even um, even uh, even sections of society that think we shouldn't be doing certain things in a certain way still need to get their food, whatever yeah. it is they're eating. Whether you don't eat animals or whatever it is you you eat or don't eat. It's still got to be farmed. It's still got to be grown. Yeah, it just doesn't. It doesn't appear in supermarkets, does it? It's, it's got to come from somewhere. So anyway, what we'll do is, um, do you want to do you want to mow? 
Yeah. Right, I'll pull that into the field. I'll jump out. You can get cracking on with the mowing on there. Uh, we'll have to look at an option for um, what we're going to do. We need to swap seats now. We'll just jump back in there you go. So you need to unfold the rear mower and then drop them both down, start them both up and off you go. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to work out what we're going to do about getting a wind rower and a forage wagon for collecting all this. So have you pressed triangle so the front implement's showing? Turn on mower. There we go. There you go. Right, there we go. Off you crack. So yeah, so we'll need to get a couple of bits of equipment if we're going to be picking this stuff up. There you go. You're off. So yeah, we'll collect all the grass up. And then we'll... Um, yeah, we'll probably do a bit of silage clamp work. So it'll be sheep, silage clamp work, and we'll need to get that ploughing job done for the McConnons. So next episode, we'll get on with that. We get some more, busy. Get some more animals in, and yeah. All good. Looks like that mower's missing bits here and there. I don't know, maybe you turn too sharply or something. Um, but we'll also make sure we try and get as close to the, the um, hedge line as we can. Could be because they're an old set of mowers, maybe. The mower mass Oh, there's a water wheel up here. Oh, yeah, that was that's cool. Anyway, so we are at the end of this episode. Like I say, I know we haven't got a huge amount done, but Mississippi P is learning, and she's learning all the very different things. So she's learned about telehandlers today. Um, we have got the goats fed. They are producing milk. We've been neighbourly. We're doing stuff with our neighbours. We're going to be helping them out with some work as well. We bought a new set of mowers, a new, new to us set of mowers, and uh, Mrs. P is doing a bit more mowing work. That's fine. There's a little man sitting up here by this. Uh... Oh, oh! And he went in the river. I don't. There's a little man sitting by the river. Yeah, there's a guy sitting here fishing as well by the water wheel. Yeah. Anyway, he's going we, to get his hair cut. Yeah, we are at the end of this episode. We are. I hope you've enjoyed it. If I you have. have. Yeah, I know. You, you are enjoying <laughs> farming it, aren't you? You are. Because Mrs. Yeah. Zippy was just saying to me, um, can we record the next one straight away? She just she wants to, you know, she wants to carry on, which is brilliant. I love that. Um, so, yeah, we are at the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest, our guest, whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.